Scott Quinnell, who got his one cap recently against Canada. I'm sure many more to come. But the first chance of uh, points on the board go to uh, New Zealand. The crowd don't particularly like the fact they're going for a penalty. A lot of pressure on this young man that he had an unfortunate day last Saturday for New Zealand against England at Twickenham and he missed one at, he missed his first three kicks at goal so a lot of pressure on him but uh, slightly di different atmosphere in this kind of game so I think he'll probably be you know not quite as much tension on it as he had last week well he's certainly experienced the humps and hollows of rugby fortunes over the last fortnight or so but he's a player of great talent and we'll hear more of him both as a rugby union player and as a cricketer and he's an international at both Jeff Wilson He'll be so keen to get the first one over. Wilson struck it pretty well. It looks plumb, and it is. And that's his 50 points for the Tour. Jeff Wilson, 51 points for the Tour. And 3-0 to New Zealand, and they played almost nine minutes. Seven, five, well, there's three, certainly three, a row of chimney stacks down that line out. There are several fellas over six feet six. Zinzan Brook, he's only six feet three, almost a midget in amongst that lot. Look at the lovely layback there for Forster. Missed out Ellis to Stensness. Stensness probing to the corner, it's a lovely kick. It couldn't be better for New Zealand. We haven't seen a great deal of Lee Stensness on this tour, that he was the, the leading light in New Zealand back play against the, uh, the Lions in the summer. Man about outstanding future, but he got injured early on and he never looked like getting back in the test play. Once again, the full meter down the middle. Scottish uh, referees tend to ask for a bit more just to give the jumpers a fair chance. Of course, the support players aren't supposed to move inwards until the ball has been played, but uh, you watch, they do it a bit quicker than that. Kingston's throw, a chance there. The try has been given. No, it hasn't. Craig Dowd was the guy who got over. But in fact, the try has been awarded. I thought for a moment he was uh, going to give another indication. But Craig Dowd has scored his first try of the tour. And that is a real blow to the Barbarians. See Oliver Rumag go up for the ball there. He can't take it in two hands. Nick Popperwell can't take it. And the referee's on the spot there. And Craig Dowd certainly grounded the ball. And the referee quite right to award a try there. But it's always a problem for a scratch side in lineouts, defensive lineouts especially. Great feeling for a prop forward to score a try, even as easy as that one. Meanwhile, Jeff Wilson. As he pulled it round far enough, indeed he has. Well, he's on song this time. Remember, he missed a few against England, but two successful kicks by him. New Zealand leading 10-0, 13 minutes gone. And this is the, always the likelihood if the sweeping isn't tidy enough. There might have been a feeling that Dowd pulled the ball forward and it may have hit the ground first, but the referee was well positioned. Sean Fitzpatrick's throw. Meant for the middle, knocked back by Wainwright, but there uh, was a bit of leaning, yes. A bit of leaning in the line-out. Leaving up, that is the penalty offence. If you are lifted by a teammate, that's only a free kick. But uh, if you use an opponent to climb up on a penalty. Ellis, punting well, he's come on so well in the tour. Ellis, he's a nephew of Mick Williman, do you may remember, who played fullback for the All Blacks against the Lions in 66 in all four tests. Numbers, sir, numbers, numbers. Barbarians 22, that was uh, a long one taken by Ruma. Look at Ruma go, six feet, six and a half inches, the Ducks red knot. Flat out there, the crowd would have loved to have seen him go the whole way. I noticed the referee, who's a Frenchman, had a grin on.